Welcome back to another uh, Slightly Redneck Canning video. Making dill pickles today because it's cucumber season. And I'm going to share with you my favorite dill pickle recipe. Super easy to make and delicious. So stick around, we'll get right to it. Okay, first things first, we're going to work on preparing our cucumbers. It's best to have cucumbers that are no bigger than about 3-4 inches long. A couple of these got a little bit big for me. I'm going to pickle these whole, but you could slice them up in slices or spears or however you prefer them. Uh, but the smaller the cucumber, you know, like I said, about a three to four inch cucumber, uh, the better it is. It's going to stay crispier. Um, not going to. It's going to have much better flavor to it. Not a whole lot to do to prep them. Uh, soak them in cold water overnight. I put them in ice water and leave them in the fridge overnight. That's going to help with uh, crispness as well. And the only thing you need to do, you've got a stem end to the cucumber, and then you've got a blossom end. This is the end of the flower comes off. You'll need to cut off about an eighth of an inch or so of that blossom end because that can add bitterness to your cucumbers. So. I guess maybe more like a quarter inch, sorry, <laughs> quarter inch of that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that with these. And then that's really all we need to do to get my cucumbers ready for pickling. So let me get this done with all my cucumbers, and uh, we'll come back and pick up the next step. So we're going to go ahead and prepare our brine right now. Uh, we're going to start off with a non-reactive pot, stainless steel, not aluminum. Uh, you can use porcelain, you can use a couple different things, but not aluminum, non-reactive, whatever it is. You're going to need some salt. Make sure you get non-iodized salt. This is a pickling and canning salt. Works great. Or you can use a kosher salt if you want to. Um, you're going to need some vinegar. Um, I use the cheap stuff because, heck, it's just vinegar. Vinegar is vinegar. But do make sure that it says on the jar or on the bottle that it's distilled within 5% humidity, uh, acidity. Excuse me. You don't want anything less than 5% acidity, and that's important. Um, and you're, of course you're going to need some water. And we're going to mix our brine up. We're going to mix up a gallon of brine. This should do about eight pint jars, um, or eight quart jars, excuse me. Um, you, you're you going to mix it half and half. Um, two quarts of vinegar, two quarts of water, and two thirds of a cup of canning salt. Now you can scale that recipe up and down. Uh, just use the same ratios. Do not lower the vinegar content. Now you could add more vinegar if you want to, but do not lower the vinegar content. 50% vinegar is the lowest recommended uh, vinegar content for safe canning by the USDA. And th for a good reason. Um, you need to have a certain pH within your products when you can them in hot water bath, can them like we're going to do. You need to have a low enough pH that it, it keeps the botulism bacteria from multiplying. Because when it multiplies, when it reproduces, it produces a toxin that can be deadly. You can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't see it. So you wouldn't even know it's there if you have botulism in your you know, canned goods. You eat them, you could very easily die. So keep, I don't mean to scare you, this is perfectly safe as long as you keep that vinegar ratio. And to be honest, my grandmother handed this recipe down and it came out with one quart of vinegar to three quarts of water. And she used that for 50 years and nobody ever got sick off that. But just to be on the safe side, don't go below 50% vinegar. Two quarts of vinegar, two quarts of water, and that makes one gallon. And again, two thirds of a cup of salt. So mix all that together, put it in a stainless steel pot, stick it on the stove, and bring it up to just a boil, just under a boil. Okay, so while my brine's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing my jars. Make sure, um, you know, prepare your jars like you would for any other canning. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna do a lot of detail on that. I've got another video I'll link to here that you can watch if you need help on that. But to the jars, we're gonna add one hot pepper. I'm gonna use habaneros if you don't like spice, nearly as much, use a jalapeno, or you can leave the pepper out completely. A couple of cloves of garlic. I really like garlic, so I use two cloves. If you want to tone it down, you can use one instead. I'm gonna put a bunch of dill, just a handful of dill. And again, I really like dill, so I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of dill seed to the jar. And I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of alum. And this is just, uh, let me show you what the jar looks like. That's what it is, alum. It's for a crisping agent to help the pickles stay crisp and not get real soggy. Um, that's also a grape leaf I'm going to add into that, and that's for the same purpose. These have tannin in them. If you can't get grape leaves, you can use oak leaves. They work really well as well. Um, and that's to also to help with crispness. So all those go in the jar, and then we're going to start packing in our cucumbers. And there's nothing special about the way you pack your cucumbers. Just shove them in there. It's kind of like a big game of Tetris to get them all, get as many as you can to fit in there. Let me get these packed and then we'll come back and we'll start adding brine to these jars. All right, so I got my jar filled uh, with uh, cucumbers here, um, ready to add my brine, and that's just a simple process of just uh, ladle it into the jars. And we're going to fill it up to 
oh, about a quarter of an inch of a head space at the top of the jar. Okay, once you got that filled with brine, then wipe the rim like you uh, would for normal canning, make sure it gets a good seal. We'll put a lid on it with a ring. Again, just finger tight. This is ready to go in the canner. You can process it for 15 minutes, or if you want to make these a refrigerator pickle, then just put the, can the jar in your refrigerator, let it cool off first, of course, put it in the refrigerator, uh, let it set for a couple of days before you eat it, and then uh, use it up within a month. But I'm going to can these so I can have long-term storage, so they're going to go in the water bath canner for 15 minutes, set for five minutes afterwards, take them out and let them cool off. All right, well, that's about all there is to it. It's a pretty simple process. Um, you can pickle uh, okra the same way. I do my okra, and I also do uh, zucchini in the same, uh, same process for those. So it works for uh, many different vegetables, and it's a great brine and a great solution to use for that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Um, hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more, comment from, or more uh, video content from me. And uh, as always, God bless.